Hello, my name is Chris, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to e-sign your lease on Tenant Cloud. To get started, go to the complete move in button to start the process of e-signing your lease. Keep in mind that if there are two or more names here, that means that there are multiple tenants that will need to complete this action in order for the lease to change from pending status to active status. So not only do I need to provide my e-signature and renter's insurance information, but my co-tenant Bruce also has to do the same in order for this lease to become active. So we'll go ahead and do our part and select complete move-in. From here, it's going to ask if we need renter's insurance because the landlord requires that we have renter's insurance. If I already have an existing policy, I'm going to select no that I don't need a new one. Otherwise, if you need renter's insurance, you can select yes, and it's going to take you through the flow of purchasing renter's insurance right here on the Tenant Cloud platform. In my case, I already have renter's insurance, so I'm going to select no. From here, I'm going to provide the renter's insurance information. And then I'm going to go ahead and select next. From here, it's going to ask you to upload proof of coverage. So this would be the insurance policy page. And we'll go ahead and select choose file and upload that document. Great. That policy has been uploaded. So we'll go ahead and select continue. On this tab of the move-in process, we can go ahead and view the residential agreements that have been sent to us for our e-signature. Assuming everything is satisfactory, we'll go ahead and select sign here. Select agree and sign, and then select the next addendum. Select sign here. Click agree and sign and continue scrolling until we get to the bottom where we have another signature field required and we'll select agree and sign. And once all of these signatures have been applied, we'll go ahead and click complete move in. Well done, lease 139 has been activated, but you cannot pay online, set up auto payments or submit the maintenance requests until all tenants activate the lease. We'll select continue. At this point, you'll have the option to get a custom quote for a moving company in the event that you need quotes for doing so. Otherwise, if not, simply select skip. Congratulations, you have e-signed the lease and provided your renter's insurance information. And now when you hover over the names, only Bruce has the indication that a signature and insurance information is still required. And again, once that is completed, this lease will change to active status. And you'll be able to view all of the details associated with the lease, pay rent, submit maintenance requests, and much more. And that is how easy it is to e-sign your lease on Tenant Cloud.